Hi folks, it's Andy. Welcome to this episode of Kendo Video Feedback. Okay, so here we are again. This week we are looking at a fantastic Shi'ai video. In this series of videos, I take um, some footage that some of you wonderful channel viewers have sent in. Uh, we watch it together. I give some feedback and hopefully everybody benefits. Okay, um, we'll look to it in just a minute. Before I do, first thing, thank you very much for the brave person that sent this in. It's very, uh, I, d I really do respect, uh, you know, you sending this in um, and letting all of us look at it. I don't think it's an easy thing to do. I think it's, uh, I think it's a super great thing to do for, not just for yourself, but for the community as a whole. So thank you very much. I don't want any negative comments down there. All right. Nobody needs to give any sort of silly comments like that. If you think, uh, think you can do better, feel free to send in a video and I'll be the judge of that, eh? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, before we jump in though, don't forget, you know, the YouTube magic, like, share, subscribe, help someone start Kendall. They might find this channel and then start Kendall themselves. Happens a lot. Happens a lot. So make sure you do that. And most importantly, support the channel by shopping at kendallstar.com. Kendallstar is my website. So I would tell you how fantastic and amazing and brilliant it is and how it's the best Kendo equipment website in the entire known universe. But as I've said many times, everybody agrees with me. Everybody, everybody agrees that Kendall Star is the best. So shop at Kendall Star. You get the best gear, best service. You support the channel. Everyone's a winner. Kendallstar.com. <laughs> okay, let's get into this uh, this video. So some context, what we've got. This is a zero to fourth Q division Shi'ai. Okay, so it's kind of a sort of entry level Shi'ai. Uh, good to see uh, people starting out doing Shi'ai early on in their Kendo journey. Do like to see it. Um, and we are looking at the red player. Let's have a look. <coughs> so the red player is going to be starting on facing the screen here. <coughs> Just watch that again. Right, good entry to the Shi'ai draw. I'm going to pick you up on basic stuff first of all, especially as a beginner level Shi'ai. See when you do day like this? Your shinai should not be pointing downwards. Your shinai doesn't move when you do day. Okay, so you have to keep your wrists relaxed, but still keep the shinai in the same position as when you're stood in the normal shizentai posture with it in uh, sagito. Okay, so don't rock the shinai forward like this. <clears throat> okay. Okay, all right, okay. I'm not so sure that Gyakudo is the best choice of Vodka from the first thing out of the out of the gates. I see what you're trying to do, sort of catch them by the elements of surprise. But, um, I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, all right. But, um, this, you see how you see how you sort of just baseball batted away there and that's why you've got that momentum that's had you sort of spinning around like like sort of like a spinning top um so you know of course it can't be can't be awarded as the e one all right um mm. okay yeah i i don't get me wrong i get what you're trying to do i, I see that it's like a kind of surprise you might be lucky to get the bond there um if you sharpen up your technique um but we, I think we need to focus on other waza. <laughs> All right, because um, you know, th this is a good opportunity for men. But you, your kentano ichi is is out of sync. Um, yeah, there's no real for me uh, and like I say, it doesn't really have the kentano ichi this strike. Okay, 
So I want you to do more Mitori Yeko, all right? I want you to watch the higher level players, the down level players, probably the Japanese players from the high level Japanese Shiai and watch what their men strikes look like and compare it to this and you'll see that it's a little bit different, okay? See, so this is the reason, this is the reason, like here, this is a fantastic chance for men and I think you make the strike, you make the strike, but you, you like you you just sort of just running at your opponent here there's no proper asabaki and because of this like the tie of kentai no ichi isn't stamping on the floor all right it's not stamping on the floor that's not what fumikomi is it's not stamping on the floor it's launching forward with a strike and that doesn't mean you have to make a lot take a lot of distance to do that you can do it on the spot but what you're not do what you're doing is just stamping down with your right foot and that's why it's 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 happening um before before the um the shinai impacts yeah I, I i i say it should be roughly the same time and it should be roughly the same time but if anything, when slowed when slowed down, look looking at you see you see how like when slowed into really slow motion, the shinai should hit first and then the foot lands slightly after. When watched at full speed, it all happens at the same sort of time because it's it's cohere cohesive and unified. But that's not what's quite happening here. So again, I want you to watch the um, high level Japanese shiai and you'll see it. You'll see a big difference. And can you, if you watch the movement of your leg here, how it's just a downward downward stamp on the floor. It's not really what there's, you know, it, you're just stamping with your left leg. There's no, there's no uh, engagement from your left leg. And that's what it's your left leg. That's, 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 that's engaging your body into your strikes. And that's what makes a strike have kentai no ichi. All right. And if it doesn't have kentai no ichi, it can't be considered ippon. Okay. Can't be a valid strike. So it, it I, I know, I know I'm sort of, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of, uh, being pretty mean to you here but look look it was a fantastic opportunity all right so let's let's take a positive here this was a great opportunity so what what i want you to take this as is is you know you have the ability to make some fantastic ibon uh because you, you've recognized a couple of good opportunities already but we need to sharpen up your technique so that you can actually achieve that criteria so that you can get awarded those points does that make sense Okay, I want you to relax a bit as well. All right, I know, I understand it's Shiai and you get all stressed and oh, you want to win and everybody does. Yeah, but you need to relax your body a bit more. And the reason I can tell that is watch how your Shinai sort of wiggles. See how it sort of wiggles like this. So that's kind of like, that's tension in your arms there. It's not going to help you, it's going to hold you back, okay? Okay, so this Kota again, very good opportunity, good timing, all right, but poor strike, all right. The strike itself, I think it was on target, which is good, reasonably on target, but the last thing you want to do after hitting Kota is end up with your Shinai like this behind you, all right. Your Shinai wants to be forward after you hit Kota, okay. It's a good opportunity though, very good opportunity. So this is something I talked about in a previous one of these. What It's not just at your level either. You see this in the Dan, Dan grades as well. But you, there's no off time with Ash Sabaki. All right. There's no off time. So you see here where you want to take your distance and you just sort of walk. Yeah. You don't want to do that. You need to use the proper Kendall footwork. Something else, something unexpected might happen. It often does in Shiai. <laughs> all right. So don't just walk and switch off. Yeah, you have to retain a connection to your opponent and then make sure that you're using the proper footwork to get your distance in case you need to, in case you need to launch. So once again, once again here, by the way, this is a really good opportunity, a good timing. Just need to improve the strikes. I think we should take a break from Gyakudolo, all right? <laughs> let's, let's fix the Kote and Men and we'll come back to Gyakudolo a bit later, all right? See, again, very, very good timing for the 
and understanding of opportunity for the kaiji door. But because there's no kikentai no ichi, okay, it's kikentai fuichi, it's not kikentai no ichi, your distance is wrong and your uh, your cutting is wrong. So if we go into this a little bit of detail here, right, this is extremely common, extremely common. So don't take this as me just ragging on you here, right? I know it feels like you need extra distance when you do kaishi do because the opponent's flying at you. What you've done here is you sort of step back into the side and that's why you don't have enough distance to hit a good door strike. See how you're too far away? Yeah, you're too far away to hit the, the good, good door strike. Again, if you watch the high level Japanese player in slow motion doing the kaishi do, then this isn't what it looks like, yeah? When you do kaishi do, it sounds counterintuitive, but your right foot comes forward, diagonally forward, and your hands move fast, yeah? So you get that little bit of distance um, that's needed to hit the accurate strike. All right, and the thing is here is you've turned your hips, which is quite good, but because you're like, um, you've not quite mastered the tenuchi yet for hitting door. So your shinai gets kind of caught. So you have to pull it with your hands and then you end up in this sort of position, which isn't great. Okay. Yeah. The other thing you don't want to do is be f f leaning forward when you hit kaisi door. All right. You don't want to lean forward. Yeah. Again, it, it's controlling the mai. Um, what you what what happened? What happens here is you've leant forward, whereas you want to be a bit straighter if you can, but take a step forward to make up for the distance. Because obviously leaning forward brings you closer to them. And I don't want to get too technical into it, but yeah, this this is why. Although it was a brilliant chance for Kaisi Do, and look, your foot works all over the place too, right? <laughs> yeah. You just sort of, you know, running. <laughs> All right. So although a fantastic, fantastic choice of Wata, good timing, uh, but the quality of the technique itself isn't enough to be awarded Ippon, even at this level. Okay. See, best, this, this sort of sauntering is best not to happen. All right. Either do Suriyashi or you can use Ayumi Ashi, but this, this isn't Ayumi Ashi. This is walking. All right, and Ayumi Ashi is not walking. It's it, it, it sounds like it is, it looks like it is. So Ayumi means to walk, but it still should be Suriyashi sliding footwork. And if you're gonna close the distance, you should do it a bit faster. Whilst you're defending yourself, try not to step back like this, all right? Talked about this one before. Okay, this is a dangerous position. Makes it easy for people to hit you. Okay. Oh, good chance for. Day what day? See, I I really like how you've got the good understanding of, of timing and when to strike. But we do need to sharpen up that up a bit. I'd like to see you tie the men a little bit higher too. Oh, it's a little bit too too low. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. I know I'm throwing, I'm throwing a lot at you, but hopefully you can sort of keep coming back to this video. And uh, you know uh, it'll be useful. See every every single one of these gyakudo that you've done, you sort of twirled around like this. All right, so it, it shows that you you're not really ready yet to perform the gyakudo ippon. Um, so yeah, let's come back to that later. Let's put gyakudo to one side for, for a, a, a bit. <laughs> Okay, that's good, but you see, look, look, you see what I'm saying about this shinai position? See what, your shinai is literally pointing at the floor. <laughs> okay, All right, this, this is part of zanshin. Okay, so it's part of the, the criteria. All right, so your kikentai no ichi is off. Yeah, kikentai no ichi is off and the zanshin is poor. Okay, so it can't be allowed to be the uh, ikbon. I understand this is probably a little bit frustrating for you because you probably feel like you're making a lot of hits um, but not receiving the points. But 
I'm, I'm trying to give you some sort of rationale as to why, why that's, why that's what happened. Okay, so here as well, I think you made a good attempt at men there, and then just sort of, it all sort of deflated after you made the strike. That was better. You're gonna break Shinai doing this, man. I'm telling you, you're gonna, it's gonna start costing you money. You can see how much pressure you put on the Shinai there. Look at that. Look at that. You see how this is this is how you break Shinai, okay? So <laughs> I'd, I'd be careful of that, okay? Looks like you bent it already. Oh, that was. See, this is a problem. You know, I feel really uh, sort of. It's a real shame about that. You know, pretty good cut this strike. But then. This. <laughs> okay? We don't want this. Yeah? Let's lose this. Vancing is one of the key elements of the you call that yeah, the valid strike. So, you know, when you start to do sort of funky stuff like that, I know you feel like it looks a little bit like what you might have seen, um, what or whatever, but it's not Zanshin, is it? How can it be Zanshin if the the Shinai is pointed at the floor behind your back like this, and your intention isn't towards your opponent, it's like over there somewhere in this in this past example. Okay, so just just take that on board too, yeah. What was that for? Oh, time. I said you can't. Okay. All right. My mistake. Okay. Fair enough. Not my mistake. Okay. I understand that. So this goes to Enjo. I see. All right. So there's the twirly Yakudo again. A kind of pirouette. See how the way you've tied your men, the way the the place they've crossed is in the wrong place. It looks like the Tihimo have crossed here instead of at the back of your head. All right, so have a look at that too. It looks like. Okay. So again, look, this is a good good chance for Kote. And they've got to award it because at the end of the day, it's the best one you've done so far. Encho, otherwise the Shia is never gonna finish. Um but this is this is this is not a Zanshin, alright? Okay, I really want you to stop that. <laughs> Please. Okay. Um yeah, let's uh let's fix that. And then the other thing that I want you to do, and I'm, I'm saying this, this is quite strict, but like, it's not just you. This is, happens a lot. Every waza should start and finish in kamae, okay? So after the waza, you should finish in the kamae, not just straight to this position, okay? Kamae. Kamae. Okay, good. So there we are at the end. Okay, great. Listen, you're doing great. You're doing great for the uh, the place that you're at, the stage that you're at, okay? So don't take my comments as being, you know, I know that I've been quite harsh and I've thrown quite a lot at you, all right? But don't be, um, I don't want you to be sort of uh, demotivated by it. Um, I think you're doing great, but I really want you to fix these things. The, here's, here's, I'm going to summarize what we're going back to, okay? Tie your men properly. First, don't dip the shinai, all right? That's your deho and your uh, chaksaw issues. Then, um, Kikentai no Ichi, all right? You need to improve the Kikentai no Ichi because at the minute it's not really present. Um, Zanshin, 
especially after hitting, hitting Kodet. All right, keep the Shinai forward. Don't hide it behind your back like this. Okay, and lastly, let's leave Gyakudo alone for a while. Okay, until we fix those other things. Um, yeah, uh, because your issues from the other aspects are affecting why your Gyakudo is not at the point where it's ready to be ready to be added to your arsenal. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right. I hope that helps. I think you're doing great though. Keep at it. I'd like to see some progress. Um, so I really do encourage you to keep trying and I really want you to, um, to take those things on board. And I think you'll see much, much more success in the future. Thank you very much for sending it in. If anyone else would like to send in a video for, uh, for this series, all you have to do is, um, best way to do it is upload it to YouTube, set it as unlisted or public if you want. I don't mind. If you don't want other people to see it, just put it as unlisted. Don't set it to private. I can't open private ones. So, um, and then send the link to me, um, at mail at kendostar.com and I will, um, make a video for you. Um, I haven't missed one of these yet. I've done everybody's that send them to me. Um, sometimes it takes me a little bit longer, um, than I'd like to do them, but, um, I will definitely do it. So if you do have one you'd like to send, send it over to me. Um, thank you again for sending them over. Like, share, subscribe, shop at Kendo Star, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.